Hi, this is Robert Petkoff, narrator of the audiobook Lothair by Cressley Cole. Lothair tells the story of this vampire who is millennia old. If not the most powerful vampire in the lore, he's one of the most powerful vampire in the lore. He's been raised by his mother to understand his place in the world. His mother was a princess. He is a prince, even though he's a halfling, a half-son, a bastard. But he's the son of a king. He's the grandson of a king. And so he's been raised to believe he is royalty. He's regal. And his entire life's mission is to regain the throne and to conquer the kingdom that expelled him. And in order to do this, of course, he's going to have to have his bride. When he finds his bride, she is absolutely, totally, utterly the opposite of what he thought his bride would be. She is Ellie, and she is an Appalachian mountain girl, which is anything but a regal princess for him. And through the course of the book, they will discover whether or not that's going to work. I have to say it's quite gratifying that people are enjoying the way I'm reading the books, certainly the way I've read A Hunger Like No Other. I enjoyed reading it, and of course you always want to know that what you're doing is appreciated. It's difficult as a narrator when you're doing scenes of a very intense nature like that to make it believable. You know, you don't want to make a love scene something that feels comic. You want to invest in it as much as you can to make it real. And it seems that the responses that uh, Hunger Like No Other has been getting is that people are believing that and are enjoying the book. And as an actor, of course, that's very gratifying to know. I think my favorite part about narrating the books is that she does create such distinctive characters with such different voices and, of course, different dialects. And that's a wonderful challenge to an actor is to have a dialogue between a Scottish werewolf and a New Orleans vampire or a sort of hip, up-to-date Valkyrie. And the challenge of, of zipping back and forth between those characters is wonderful. It's exciting. It's difficult, and at times you do have to stop and go, wait, 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 who's, who's talking here? Uh, which voice have I got to use here? But it's great fun to try to create these characters. And, you know, there's, there's some pressure on that too because, you know, as people read these books, of course they hear in their head what it's going to be. So you feel like you are defining it for a certain segment that's never read it, but you're also trying to reinterpret it for the people who have read it and uh, have heard it in their heads already. You try to make the best effort you can to make it true to what you think they might have heard in their heads.